it. He never forgot that I didn't like the dark, so he'd gently tickle my f You know what, I do the aftermath, and I tell people that I know in this community what my friend told me once, and that's own your shit. That was shit for you. And I would say that to Harry. You know, people go, oh, you bully, you hate him. No, 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 right, it's a motive. This whole Harry and Meghan choo-choo train of woe has been a motive to most. Where they've blurred the lines and gone against that never complain and never explain, it's made them vulnerable. Because no longer do we see Harry as a prince as a spare like we never see him as a spare before we know where that's come from people that didn't get gabor on a sofa that have been through a lot lot more <laughs> have listened on have read his books and have connected to him either for or against and i'm telling you now the ones that are against is because it's so emotive to watch someone have so much support so much love a dad who says i'll be up in a bit son then every night come and sit at the end of his bed to protect him when he's feeling unsafe because he's scared of the dark to tickle his face then leave the room and leave the door ajar open for him because he loved him so all these people who's never experienced that, but we've watched that, we've watched that with Harry and his family, this natural connection, a lucky, a blessing. When we watch the people that read these books and come out in defense of Harry, calling Charles an abuser, that he financially abused him by cutting it off. For me, hands up, a motive, my story, watching my mom actually be financially abused got me. I'm in. I'm hooked. I'm wound up. Never complain and never explain is there for a reason. But the reality is there are so many children out there who would only ever dream. So many adults going through life right now who will never ever understand that feeling of having someone there for you. Someone that loves you as a child. And now they're adults trying to find their own way in life. With that pain and that hurt of not having someone at the end of their bed who's got their back in that way. So yeah, this is where he's broken it. This is where he has blurred the lines with this Harry and Meghan choo-choo train of woe. Because a lot of people are out here saying, whoa, 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 no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> you haven't got a clue. Maybe Prince Harry... You need to own the fucking love that you did have rather than dwelling over the shit. I was going to say that you didn't have, but from where we're seeing, you had quite a lot. Yes, you faced your grief and own that shit by all means. Your mom, the loss, the media. But everything you've done, everything we've seen, maybe you need to start owning the shit you have done.